Hi, my name is Eric Erling, currently living in Boise, Idaho. I am and remain a Republican voter against Trump. That journey includes serving as a delegate to the Washington State GOP Convention in 2012 for Mitt Romney. It includes working for George W. Bush for six years in the U.S. Department of Education. But before that, it included working for former U.S. Senator Slade Gorton, Republican from Washington State. Slade served three terms as that state's Attorney General, he served three terms in the Senate, and he served on the 9-11 Commission. Slade knew what it was like to work on serious things. I know that because when I was on his staff, I saw the memo he sent to Joe Lieberman outlining the rules that would govern the impeachment trial of Bill Clinton as those two worked on that issue. I know that because I heard Slade talk about how serious and grave the topic was and why it was important to handle it right. Last year, Slade wrote an op-ed encouraging Republican senators to follow the facts when it came to the first impeachment of Donald Trump. Slade passed away last summer. That's his biography over my shoulder. It's resting on a copy of a biography about Alexander Hamilton because Slade loved Hamilton before Hamilton was cool. There's a kind of famous quote from Hamilton talking about impeachment in his writings and describing the kind of man impeachment was intended to thwart. Quote, when a man unprincipled in private life, desperate in his fortune, bold in his temper, despotic in his ordinary demeanor, known to have scoffed in private at the principles of liberty, when such a man is seen to mount the hobby horse of popularity, to join in the cry of danger to liberty, to take every opportunity of embarrassing the general government and bringing it under suspicion, to flatter and fall in with all the nonsense of the zealots of the day. It may be justly suspected that his object is to throw things into confusion so that he may ride the storm and direct the whirlwind. This plea is to the Republican members of Congress. Everything in that quote applied to Donald J. Trump even before he incited a violent insurrection against a joint session of Congress presided over by his own vice president in the U.S. Capitol building. Impeach him, convict him, remove him from office, and bar him from holding federal office ever again. The man is not fit to serve, and we all know it. Moreover, we have to stand for something. So Republican members of Congress right now, I speak to you and say, be safe and do your duty, do the right thing. The country is watching and history will remember. Thank you.